Well, hello there, everybody. It is me, Postmodern Cowboy, and uh, I'm back. I'm back after quite some time. It's been a few months, like uh, three or four months, I think, since I did the last video. But uh, I am back, and I'm playing Going Medieval today, which is a uh, community management survival game, a survival building game from Foxy Voxel. Um, it's great. I've got a lot of videos. We're starting a brand new community today because there's been, uh, there's been some updates. And, uh, you know, I could load up um, the Old Castle and the Richmond Seed, and uh, play from where I was at, but the reality is there's a whole host of new features in the game, um, and new objects, new animals, um, new building pieces, and uh, even like character interactions and stuff that happen. So I figured it would make more sense to start from scratch. Now that said, uh, our community today is uh, gonna be a little bit different. I'm playing on hard, hard, hard mode, like the absolute hardest survival difficulty, um, well, that'll be interesting. We'll see how it goes. I might have to, might have to scum save a little bit on this one. We'll see. Um, but I'm going to walk you through, uh, character creation, uh, in the first few minutes here, because that's, uh, interesting. It's not something I've talked about before, but how to, how to really like, uh, min max your, uh, characters, uh, to get the best results. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to move myself on the screen here and, uh, we'll get right into it. So, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing a theme castle here. We're doing a theme, a theme community. Um, it is a castle. It's going to be a castle. And, uh, if you're like me, you grew up, um, your parents probably bought you a book when you were young, um, called castle. Uh, it's an illustrated book by David Colley. He also does like the way things work and pyramid, um, cathedral, I think. Um, and they're like not cross section books, but they're like, they're books that detail the the technology, the building technology, the, um, the sort of period techniques um, and uh, architectural features of uh, great buildings. And the way things work is more focused on like specific technologies um, throughout time. Like there's a, a cutaways of nuclear fusion reactors and stuff like that. Anyway, um, David McCauley, really, really cool, really, really cool guy. Um, did uh, this book Castle. Uh, it was turned into an animated TV show. It's about an hour long. Um, uh, you know, it's it's kid stuff. It's kid stuff, but I recommend it if you're interested in castles. Um, and certainly for me is the stuff of nostalgia, not least of which because the main character shares my name, um, the Lord, Lord Kevin Lestrange. Uh, you know, that was a little bit inspiring to me as a kid. Uh, you know, a little bit of, little bit of representation there, a little uh, representing the Kevins of the world. Which is why, on March the 27th, 1283, King Edward invested Kevin Lestrange as Lord of Aberwyvern in agriculturally rich but rebellious Northwest Wales. Anyway, so I am I am emulating this community um, at least as far as I can within the confines of the uh, engine here um, and going medieval. And uh, the map seed is going to be Aberwyvern. That's capital A Aberwyvern, which is the name of the castle from David Macaulay's book. So uh, it's actually a really good seed too. You'll see, you'll see. But uh, I have I have created these characters. So we've got uh, Lord Lord Kevin Lestrange. Uh, we've got Lady Catherine Lestrange, and we've got Andrew. Who it's Andrew of Chester. Can't really fit that uh, surname in. Um, it's not really a surname. It's a, you know it determines where he's from. Um, so Andrew has a mononym. Um, but uh, yeah. So what have I done here? You're going to see on the right, you're going to see group skills. Um, and this is something really important to pay attention to. If you want to get the most out of your community at start, you click this advanced customization and you start like ticking boxes and assigning people skills. Uh, and what, what you want to get is you want to get every skill under group skill above 10. Some of them for particular reasons, you want them even higher than that, but you want to get every skill above 10. And then uh, you want to get, uh, you want to get these uh, stars. So these stars at, uh, they're like, it's like a passion rating. It's like how passionate they are. So Kevin Lestrange is the most passionate about animal handling. He's one star passionate. Um, now Lady Catherine is uh, the most passionate about botany and growing things. Um, and she's got two stars. So you just, you just take the little, you just take the little star levels here. And it actually, it costs you a total of your creation points. You see them at 508 to 510. So I've pretty much maxed my uh, groups capacity. I could add two more points somewhere, but I'm going for I'm going for even nice even round numbers. I don't care if two points are missing. Um, and uh, and you you'll see how this all worked out. So what's Kevin Lestrange good at? Well, he's uh you know moderately passionate about animal handling, moderately passionate about marksmanship. Um, he has fairly balanced skills. Got a zero in tailoring. Um, you know that's the min in the min max. You want to reduce some skills that you know that character's not going to use. Um, uh, but you also want to keep like 
carpentry, construction especially. Um, you know, it's not his primary role. It's not what he's great at. Um, I think Andrew is the most passionate uh, of construction at 15. Um, but you don't want him failing at construction, right? If he's going to go build something, and there's like a bed or a chest or something, you don't want him failing uh, that role. So you want to give them some skill at everything uh, to some degree. You know, he's probably not going to cook, but I gave him a five in culinary. Intellectual, I might assign him to do some research if somebody else is busy. Um, marksmanship, everybody in your community, you're playing the hardest difficulty, and I can't stress this enough. It is so damn important. Um, this was the biggest barrier for me playing on the hardest difficulty, but everyone in your community has to have 10 in marksmanship out of the gate to start because you can't use a war bow or a long bow without 10. Um, and so you get stuck using the short bows. They're not very good. They don't do very much damage. And because of how difficult it is, because of how many enemies there are, because of how you're managing like these sort of uh, choke point dynamics um, and flanking dynamics with, with your archers to try to maximize your, uh, your ability to kill the enemy quickly um, and from range before they get on top of you because there's you know, dozens of enemies potentially, they get on top of you, you're done. So you really need to, to maximize that. Uh, potential and and doing so you know just sign uh, marksman 10 to every character um, in this case i've also given uh kevin a passion with marksmanship which means he's going to level faster at it um melee uh same thing i honestly find that in the hard 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 mode melee doesn't come up often um it does come up early on maybe your first two fights you might you might uh if you haven't built perfectly you might have a character who has to engage in melee at some point but Theoretically, um, and before you get reinforced doors, uh, melee is going to be your big defense. And then after that, uh, melee becomes less important um, uh, until like wolves happen and stuff in the winter. Like melee is pretty useful. And I'm, you know, I'm keeping, I'm keeping with uh, the theme. This is Lord Kevin Lestrange. He is uh, a fighter. Um, he's portrayed in the in the book in in the film, uh, fighting the castle parapet. So he's he's good at melee. He's a knight, um, and he is he is a chivalrous knight. So he gets a plus five to melee. And the knight just gives you a whole host of uh, good little bonuses. And I also gave him the confessor um, trait, which also adds melee skill. So he's this this guy's this guy's our fighter, um, and he's okay at speechcraft. He he can do a little mining, uh, but he's not he's not really truly exceptional at anything beyond fighting. Um, and I've given him the animal handling trait because very often I find that if my animal handling character is is in some other role like cooking or botany. Um, those tasks take precedence and the animals just never get tended to. So you should have a dedicated animal handler. I find that making the fighter the animal handler makes the most sense. Um, so that's what I've done here with Lord Kevin. And he's got some other traits. Uh, these perks are really cool. Um, you get negative... Per I, I don't think I've given any negative traits to any of my characters. I've just given them positive traits. This is a really strong community. Um, I, I really have. Uh, it's more maxed than mind. I'll say that. But... He's as Lord, he's uh, the Lord of Misrule, so he's a little bit of a practical joker. Uh, gives him some positive social interactions, which is a new thing as of the, the last big update. Um, he's strapping, so he's uh, you know good at melee again. Um, he's robust, so he's got all of these uh, sort of health features uh, and, and uh, motor function, like he's a little more dexterous. He's congenial, he's happy, people like him. Um, he's wise, so he gains experience faster, so those passions are going to increase uh, the... the his effort in animal handling, marksmanship, melee, or speechcraft are going to be pretty fruitful because of this trait. And he's got an intellectual skill, so he can research if he needs to. Um, and he's outgoing, which again is a positive social interaction. So this is a charisma character uh, with strength. This is like, this is a knight. This is a knight. Okay, now um, rolling right along here to Lady Catherine. You will notice the primary skill I have given her is botany. Uh, and she's got a high passion of botany, and she has 25 to start, which is really, really high. That's really high for a starting character. Um, and that's because um, there are herbs that grow naturally in the environment, especially early in the game, in spring. Uh, they become more and more rare as the game goes on. Um, but what you want to do is you want to send your botanist out almost right away to pick those herbs, to get the herb seeds, and plant them, because herbs are medicine. And so, uh, you know, she has a 10 in medicine. She has, uh, you know, a passion for uh, medical work um, and this just means that you know I, I hope we get a healer later on I, I do hope that that's something that the uh, games RNG gives us a more proficient healer um, but from the outset we'll have the ability to cure some wounds in the community and we can grow the medicine to do it um, I think herbs also flavor beer um, and so uh, hopefully her culinary skill will come into play there 
and she's gonna be our brewer she's gonna be our healer she's gonna be our grower um yeah it's a little bit gendered here uh why is the lady cooking because because this is based on a character from uh, a book and a film uh, lady catherine is um big on a hospitality hosts the feasts um it, you know and uh, she is our researcher also, so she's smart. She's going to be our book learner who stands there and uh, just toils away at research when she's not doing anything else, particularly in the winter when things aren't being grown. Um, she'll be researching new technologies that we can use to improve the community. Um, her speechcraft is also really high, so when the merchant comes to town, she's going to be the one who goes out and deals with the merchant who uh, trades for the goods and the services, um, and she can tailor just a little bit. Now, ten and tailoring... This is important. Again, very early in the game, you want to have someone tailoring before the first winter so that you have enough winter clothes for your community to not freeze to death when it gets cold because it will get cold and on the hard survival difficulty, that is a, a, an insurmountable challenge if you haven't adequately prepared um, with clothing. And you'll see how that works when we get into it. Um, as she is a charitable and plus five culinary courtesan, um, which makes her less good at melee and marksmanship, um, I have brought her skill level back up to a 10 marksmanship round, um, and I gave her the bride pseudonym, um, which gives her the plus three to tailoring. So she just, you know, she's a uh, a somewhat talented seamstress, um, and yeah, hopefully we don't freeze. Now her perks, um, she's benevolent, speechcraft, she's dainty, um, which again is a reference to the, uh, the book and film. Uh, Catherine is unhappy with... Uh, the cold, uh, drafty castle conditions, so they have to like put up tap uh, tapestries and and uh, carpets and stuff, which which is actually now in the game. Like this is this is a, a feature um, that I I quite like. It remind it reminded me immediately as soon as I saw it of oh yeah right because that's the lady liked the the tapestries that made it made the room less drafty. Um, she's a sun seeker because of this. Uh, she likes a warm sunny day um, and she is ravishing, um, which gives her a whole host of positive social attributes. She's pretty good looking. Um, she's got a green thumb, botany, uh, and she's outgoing like her husband, and she's wise like her husband. So she's going to learn fast. She's going to get better at all of the things that she's passionate about, um, and she really rounds out the sort of uh, domestic side of the community, which is important to have a character committed to those things. The only thing I'm not sure on is, is, is whether uh, the, what is this, uh, whether the intellectual and the botany are ultimately going to conflict, because you do need to um, research some things fairly early on. I haven't ever done it this way where my uh, researcher has also been my botanist. I think it's going to work out fine. I think I think I can manage that uh, based on season. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of time, even when things are growing, once they've been planted, uh, at least in the early game, uh, where the botanist isn't doing botany work. Um, although botanists are also the tree cutters, and that'll be interesting because she's going be, <laughs> to be able to get in her fire. I, I, don't, I don't know how this is going to work out. This is it's kind of a weird dynamic. But... Uh, Let's uh, let's drop down to Andrew here, our third character. I think there's ways to have uh, many more characters. I could probably add, uh, you know, like five or six characters and create a custom uh, start. But I'm I'm still going with the uh, sort of basic scenario in which you start with three people in a small pile of goodies. Um, it's 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 easy. I I, I think uh, you know I'm already playing the hardest difficulty. Why make it harder? Um, I don't know if I want to manage six people right off the bat. I feel like three is a three is a manageable number. Uh, Andrew, of course, is our carpenter. He does construction and smithing. Um, and he's got 25 in smithing. Uh, that'll hopefully let him make um, uh, mechanical uh, mechanical parts that can be used to create crossbows. Um, I don't think his carpentry skill is going to be high enough. He's going to have to level that carpentry skill. And he doesn't have um, wisdom, so he's not going to learn as quickly. We'll get him there. I'll have him making bows, um, war bows and stuff for the community um, pretty early on and construction. He's very passionate about, so he will probably become very good at that. And again, I think uh, I think Andrew in the uh, movie um, gives a little bit of a lecture on uh, how the houses are built and stuff. You know, he's the blacksmith, and he's, he's got his own house. So, um, what are his perks? His perks: he's industrious, so he's a hard worker. This is our this is our working stiff here, right? And Andrew's the guy who's going to do all the, uh, the the labor. He's hefty, uh, moves a little bit slower, but you know, he just crushes it with a melee weapon or mining. He's a big boy. Um, he's also ascetic, which is a cool little uh, zero creation point cost. But he's actually happier with, uh, you know, a, a simple abode. Um, so he is he is a peasant. He's strapping. Uh, he's he's good at fighting uh, with melee to some extent. He's got a ten in melee, uh, but I just gave him that that extra boost. And he's vigorous, which gives him uh, increased wound 
regeneration. His, his, his health is uh, superior to that of normal character. And he's thrifty, and he's a blacksmith, uh, which both give him uh, significant smithing boosts. He's also lucky, which also gives him a smithing boost. So this this is a smithing, smithing smith. He's smith's, smith, smith stuff. Okay. Uh, I think that's it for the community. Uh, I'm going to talk really quickly about um, religion. All three of my characters, I think, are restitutionists. Yeah, so I'm probably... The, the Lord is the most religious. Andrew's the least religious. Um, I'm probably just going to build a restitutionist chapel, uh, maybe a cathedral later. Um, but it simplifies uh, the religion early on to have all three of your characters adhering to the same faith. Either Oak Brethren or Restitution, it doesn't matter. Um, I feel like these characters um, would be um, more into uh, Christ than Odin. Uh, you know, based on based on the book, the time periods, um, which is what. Uh, 12th century Wales, I think. But, uh, yeah. All right. Um, I think that's, I think that's it. That's everything I needed to cover with character creation. So we're going to go next and, uh, yeah, there we go. So it's, uh, Aber Wyvern is the community. Um, and we, it's, this is the mountain, uh, a large map, and it's also Aber Wyvern as a seed. And you can tell from the shape of the terrain here, around the seed that it's it's interesting there I, I you don't see that kind of square shape too often um i don't think it was intentional by the developers but it's very interesting that the uh the seed name uh, taken from macaulay's book produces a really excellent site for a castle um without further ado let us embark okay well welcome to aber wyvern pause things for a second and take a look around this is the mountain lair which means there's a lot of stone. There's not very much land to grow on. Oh, they also added, uh, since I last played, they added a terraforming feature, which allows you to move dirt um, from areas to other areas. Some hay over here. Um, we're going to go and a lot of iron, a lot of iron. We're going to look at the building site. Um, there's this sort of like cliff that meanders along up to this high stone plateau. And on this stone plateau, there are a number of features. So. This is a pretty great spot to build. Um, it is close to the map edge. I'll give it that. And, uh, you know, you, you can fully cut it off. Um, it does, it's not occluded by the map edge boundary there. Um, I don't think you can... Yeah, so you can't get rid of those ramps. But that's fine. That's fine. Um, and it's just... It's, it's, really, it's a really cool spot. You know, you, I, can just, I can just sort of visualize a keep up here or up here. Um, you know, a large castle on the side of the hill, um, very much in the same vein um, as the Aber Wyvern in the book um, and uh, TV show. There is there is some uh, arable land, um, and it's fairly close to that that site as well. You know, it's just uh, just past it and down the hill from it, um, and there's there's hay down here. So we're gonna um, we're gonna build up here. I think I think my first step is actually going to be digging um, into the rock. That'll let me get stone right away, and it'll give me somewhere to store things. It'll give me somewhere to store things. Um, I'm actually, yeah, this this makes sense. So, hmm, hmm. All right, I have a plan. First thing I'm going to want to do is set down a default stockpile. It's going to take them probably a day to haul everything in. These dead deer here are going to be um, quality food early on, and it's it's going to have so the, the trees are pretty far away. That's that's a downside to building up here is the trees are pretty far away, and there aren't that many of them at all. They're all over there. Um, I'm going to be I'll cut down those trees in in a day or two. Maybe that's less fine. That's less fine. Um, we're going to have to plant some trees. Good thing we've got Lady Catherine with her botany skill. Okay. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to build a default stockpile there because that seems like an easy area to roof off. Um, as far as jobs, all of you are just going to be hauling for the first little bit. So we got to bring everything in. And I'll start on uh, maximum speed. Oh. That's silly of me. That's very silly of me. I actually have to give them the order to haul the stuff. Here we go. 
fact, I don't know what they're doing, but whatever they're doing isn't what I want them doing. Let's have them, yeah, there we go, reconsider those priorities. And we get a couple goats. Um, we got any other animals? Yeah, there's a cat named Bell. There's a cat named Bell. Cats are new. Cats are new. Look at this guy. That's so cool. Okay. It's been a while since I played. Um, I I have I've experimented with the the new uh, the new updates, but I haven't I haven't really really put a lot of time into it. Um, okay, they bring their weapons first. I could I could get them to pick the weapons up. That might make sense. Probably would have made more sense than having them waste the trip hauling them. Uh, it's already ten in the morning. We're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to get building here. So let's see. Um, Put my campground up here to start. You build a wicker bed. To st oh, that's cool. That's actually cool. It doesn't waste your hay. Um, hay is not something we're short on right now, so I don't, I don't super care. But first thing I need to do is okay. Let's see, you do your bedding, your campfire. Your butcher table and the research table all sorted together there. You know, they're still hauling weapons and equipment that they could have just put on. Whatever. Let's set them a schedule. Uh, it's gonna be a pretty a pretty intense schedule to start. Let's go with leisure time. Give them a little bit of anything during the day. Let's actually change that up to leisure in the morning as well. And uh, leisure in the afternoon. That seems like a balanced work day. Some breaks. It's a pretty it's a pretty hard medieval day, but Oh, there's a fox eating my food. Yeah, that's that's not that's not gonna fly. That's not gonna fly. He protect, he attack, but most importantly, he snack. The next person who comes back is gonna pick up a weapon and kill that fox. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. Uh, thank you for volunteering to become fur. Okay, it's gonna be Andrew. Andrew's our fox killer. He's carrying the ale in. That fox is going for food again. All right, Andrew. Um. Let me think for a second. So I've got my melee man. I've got my archery man. Get Andrew the longbow right away. And... Of course the fox just leaves. Like it's like, I know what's going on. I know what's about to happen. I'm just gonna waste your time. Yeah, I'd fox be trolling. Whatever. Let's put him back on stockpile duty for now. The fox comes back, I'll deal with it. I gotta get uh, Lord Kevin into his Oh my god, it's a wolf is eating my food. Is something else right here. Maybe all of them. Okay, it's it's eight o'clock at night, so Okay, let's prioritize clearing that. That's annoying. I wish I wish I wish you could just have them clear stuff underneath the the blue construction uh you know what I mean. Like the plan structure. You can't have them clear that shrub until the thing is built, but you can't build the thing until you clear the shrub, so you have to remove the plan and then clear the shrub. It's just, it's a weird, that can get very frustrating later on. Okay. They should all be getting hay for construction. They gave each other the thumbs up. That's he's unhappy. He's not happy, but 
they're not none of them are going to be happy for a few days at least but at least they have places to dude just, don't just give up on it She, she's running off to get food. Okay, I'm going to get her to grab the bow while she's over there. Okay. All right, wakey, wakey. I am going to need to uh, also assign, uh, not assign, uh, place these uh, entertainment structures, religion, and uh, board game, so that they don't uh, they don't get too unhappy. They will. This is this this difficulty will see people actually like quit your community. Be like, not nah, screw this. I'm, I'm taking my toys and going home. Um, if you have not appeased them enough. And since it looks like we're already out of food, courtesy of the raiding animals, um, these guys are definitely going to need some appeasement because it's it's going to be a lean, a lean couple days until we get these. Uh, like the deer are going to go bad, probably. It's my big concern. I need to get the she's uh, he's happy. Andrew's happy. That's good. But I need to get the uh, I need to get the hauling done so they can do other things. It's almost all the stuff, mechanical components, cabbage seeds. Now, I need so I'm gonna build that research table pretty quick. I'll wait until they bring in the, the wood uh, to do the construction with. But... Oh, these animals eating my shit. They're, and now they're eating the deers and the pheasants and the rabbits. I really gotta... Need to create a fenced compound for the goats there. We'll just put that there for now. That's good. Where the hell are you going? You are going to get the woods. Okay. Yeah, so they got to haul in the lumber. And Bell hasn't left. This is actually a tough start because of how far we are from our things. Okay. Uh, very first order of business. I'm actually, you know what? These things, uh, I can leave the research table there, I guess, but I'm going to move the butcher table to uh, close, close to the, uh, and we're going to plan the start of a roof uh, to cover these things um, so that they don't, they don't, you know, they'll go bad lying on the ground, um, they'll decay quickly, but their roof should at least protect uh, the materials, especially my mechanical components. I've already lost one hit point, like, from sitting out in the open. Okay, so the rabbit carcass decomposed. How are my deer carcasses doing? They're, they're going to last another day at least, but it's already three in the afternoon. It's day two. I don't, I don't have anything done. Where the fuck are you going and why are you wasting your life right now? He's not... What is he picking up? What could he possibly be picking up? Okay. 
Let's uh, let's have Andrew switch over to construction. This guy's just gonna keep wasting time if he doesn't do anything. I might as well move the research table. To be honest, I'm, I'm, it's a tough call. No, I'm leaving those things up there. I'll build a little ramp. That's what I'll do. Build a little ramp up. But I need the research table to be immediately accessible. There's that, there's that, and I'll just put in a little alcove there. Find a roof for that as well. Yep, any, any day now you guys can do some stuff. Andrew, why aren't you building? There we go. He fails his first construction. That's just a hard difficulty, guys. Okay, research table missing. Okay, and right away, let's put this over to uh, cutting up the meats. And then I'm going to have her, what is it? It's under jobs. I'm going to have her likewise start. She's my cook, right? Yeah, she's my cook. Okay. Have her prioritize cooking. Okay, now that the ramp is going up, I'm going to put a campfire there. I'll have him do that next so that she can cook before the food goes bad. The research table's done, so immediately let's have Buddy What's His Name. Um, oh, by Buddy What's My Name. <laughs> I'm going to have Kevin uh, start researching because she is cooking. Um, and I'll put her research to two, but his research is going to go to one to start. Okay, the campfire is done. Let's queue that up, um, and we're just going to cook until we have 25 foods. Uh, I can also unlock now the architecture and agriculture functions. This is good, and I see the problem here. There's no way... F oh, there is a way. Yeah, there's a way. Okay. She needs to get over here. I'm going to just draw down a uh, cabbage field here so that they have some food to start. And... Okay, wait a second here. I, I want to get cabbage seeds. So we're going to pick when they're going to seed. Priority is going to be very high. Uh, nope, I didn't actually click. There we go. Priority is going to be very high. And they're going to go to sleep. Get that right. Okay, throw down a wooden beam here and here and here. And then let's get a wicker roof up to protect my shit. Who's going to cut the woods? I mean, she makes sense, but let's have her planting right away. She can cook later. I don't think she actually managed to cook anything. Andrew and Catherine are friends. See, this is new. This is very new. Um, the social interactions between, uh, between characters. I'm just going to move here for a second. Okay, so she's gardening up a storm. I'm going to play some um, Stranded Alien Dawn um, at the end of this month. Towards uh, the end, there's a big update coming for that. Uh, military communities. It just looks awesome. There's like mecha and stuff. It's it's like this game, but science fiction. And 
Um, a little, a little, a little grimmer, a little less cute, a little more violent. But uh, plant reaping mishandled, right? Because he's not, he's not the greatest botanist in the world. Of course, he can't cut down a tree properly. Whatever. Okay, now Andrew should be still working construction. Yep. I feel like I want to... Oh yeah, he's working on the... Good, good, the pen. Means now the pen is done. Oh, it's not quite done. He's not, not perfect. Catherine's got to go back to cooking, like, immediately. It's kind of confusing terrain, but you can see how, like, this point up here is so damn defensible. It's going to take the enemy forever to get up to that point if I dig... I dig down some of the ramps and, and uh, put access control on the, the ones I keep. And I dig through this, have the mine out that stone, so that it's uh, an island unto itself, and then we'll, we'll work from there. And these rabbit, these rabbit corpses don't last very long, that's for sure. Okay, what are they doing? They're doing their midday prey, midday prey, Andrew's playing a board game. Um, their religious needs are met, that's good. They're not going to be unhappy. Assume he's going to get materials, yeah. And I should, I should start a dedicated wood pile somewhere up here. Wood's one of those things that if you don't, if you don't stockpile it, you tend to go through it pretty quick. Um, so under material, raw material, I'm going to, uh, set all the wood there. I have them cutting down a fair number of trees. Okay, now, I don't, I don't think I have a dedicated miner. That's not something in this community. Let me think for a second. Where does it make sense to mine... I mean, if I, how big is the, the footprint's not huge. Footprint on that is much larger. Interesting, interesting, okay. So if I were to dig down on two layers, yep, okay. Okay, I'll do that later. I think for right now, I'm just going to uh, mine out. those three to start. Yeah. Who is capable of mining? There's nobody. They're all five, uh, ten. But once Andrew's done building, I'll have him mine. Oops, not animal handling, mining. Kevin should be animal handling when he's done cutting. Okay, so it's day three. On day six or seven, um, I'm going to have, uh, I think it is on day seven, I'm going to have uh, someone come to the community who'll be fleeing um, one of the neighboring factions, and I'll decide whether to keep them or not. Probably keep them anyway, uh, no matter who's chasing them, unless it's like, uh, the king of England is after me. Well, okay, then you're, you're, you're fucked. But if it's like uh, the anchoring disciples or the... Um, Heretics of the Rose or whatever, like, uh, I'll, f I'll, f I'll fight them. And, and sometimes if they're a uh, particularly uh, congenial faction, you'll just lose rep with them for accepting the person on the first uh, roll. It's, a, it's an RNG thing, too. So, okay. Someone's going to haul wood, right? She's probably, no, she's preparing food. That's great that she's preparing food. We've got 105 meat, and I need her to cook up a storm. I need her to cook all that. we got to get food storage happening now means Kevin okay new priorities Kevin goes over to research again he comes off cutting plants um, you know what I'll actually put him on animal husbandry research too. Um, turn his hauling off Andrew is gonna go one mining uh, two construction mm -hmm, like that 
And they've made so many positive changes to this game, even the characters having um, uh, food pouches uh, that contain a uh, day's food, um, so they don't have to always run back to the stockpile every time they get hungry. Like, that's something. Oh, this rain is going to decay all my shit, and my roof isn't done, because I... Okay. This is fine. It's all fine. Nothing I can do about it, except make Andrew work overnight. I could make him, I could make him work a double, but we'll be fine. We got cabbages in the ground. They, they ripen really quickly. If we, if we get really hungry, we can hunt and eat that goddamn fox. Um, so at least the fox can do return its turn its protein to the community. Um, am gonna need to bring the uh the goats some hay. Do I even have hay? Yeah, I've got hay left. Okay, oh, yeah, we have hay out here, too, and that will go soon. Oh, oh, my goodness. See, look at me being not so smart. Being not so smart. Okay, let's cut all of these things right away. Now, Catherine would have to stop cooking, and she'd have to start plant cutting immediately or harvesting. Um, harvest first, cut plant second, because I want those seeds. And then haul a second. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Okay. Turn this roof shit off. Yeah, there we go. I wonder what we're doing here. I'm going to put stairs down right away, and we're just going to create a cold cellar um, to store whatever food survives these first couple days, whatever food and seeds. Um, man, I managed to survive, uh, or manages to survive rather i don't manage to survive anything whatever food manages to survive the first few days is day four and it takes a long time to mine through stone too i didn't really think about that when i built the wise man built his house upon the rock but if he wants a cellar he's kind of fucked uh you can quote me on that all right things are things are going well ish well-ish. I really need to start thinking about how we're going to defend this. Like, that's got to go, and this has to be mined out, and this has to go. I think that's it, right? That's all the... You might as well build the stairs first, buddy. Okay, so like I was saying, she's got uh, the, the level 5 for a reason. I level 5 botany for a reason. And that reason is we're going to need to grow herbs immediately. There really isn't much uh, good growing land available to me right off the bat here. It's fine. So I'm just going to create a little herb plot. That is sufficient. Um, I am going to need to fence this in so animals don't eat my crops. But that can kind of wait. I'm just build the fence in a way that saves resources. Let's put a wicker gate in. don't think they eat herbs and he's doing some research okay so where are we at with respect to research for i need damn i need i need her researching but we got to get through the the hurdle i see how this yeah so this is going to be a little bit of a problem managing good good he's mining out the things he should be mining out I'm actually going to have Kevin switch over to construction. I really need to uh, build some stuff. Okay. <sighs> Where's the choke point? The choke point is here the choke point is here this is my 
Well, that's not ideal, is it? Now, what am I supposed to do? I didn't really think this one through. Wait a tick, they can't come up here. So if I delete that, the only, the actual access choke point is here. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, this will be fun. Okay, so we're gonna put, um, basically a box together, and I'm gonna fill the middle space with doors to begin with. Two, three, four, five, six, that's seven doors in a row. Um, that should, that should be quite sufficient. Did I actually assign Kevin to have weapons? Is that a thing I did? Probably did. And I'll I'll uh, I'll put a floor on top of that for for reasons. Um, actually, you know what? I won't put a floor on the middle section, and there's a reason for that too. This is like the most rudimentary of um, access control functions, but it should do the trick. Mm, yep, yeah, there we go. I don't know why they haven't built this damn roof. It's the only thing they actually need to do. Oh, there's a merchant. Catherine is our... I'm going to have everybody haul for a day, I think. All right, what's Guthlaf Diamond selling? He is... From Burrow. Okay. So he's selling barley. This is maybe the most important thing that you can buy. When the first merchant shows up, you buy their barley. Beet seeds, uh, more cabbage seeds to replace the ones I'm using. Flax seeds are important. Um, and that looks to be it, what he's selling. He is selling a dog, um, which is really confusing because I also have Doggy the Goat. Anyway, um... I could, I could sell him Bell, but, you know, I kind of like my cat right now. Cat's probably just going to die anyway. But uh, I, I, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to proffer. Now, what, what do I have that's worth anything? Just a small amount. Uh, proffer one roasted meat. And then one raw meat. Yeah, there we go. So. Okay, now, big priorities. Big priorities. When you buy your barley, your people will eat your barley. And all future community members will also eat your barley unless you do this, um, which is set them to consume only meals, only meals. Um, and most importantly, make sure that your actual meal production, if you change that up to make animal feed or a different type of food later, you got to remember this, um, deselect the barley. And there's a reason for that. Um, it's because you want to plant the barley as early as you can, again, uh, to get some kind of uh, barley stored. Because it's it's actually, if you don't get barley in the early game, you might never see it again. Uh, it might be like two or three years go by. It takes so long to grow, too, um, that when you get it, you get to plant it early in the season. Um, so we'll just go like that. We'll put down uh, one row of barley. Everybody's happy. This is good. I'll get rid of that too. Okay. Catherine doing Catherine needs to start cooking again, but she needs to plant the things and then she needs to cook. Um Cooking to two, hauling to three, 
Andrew's mining one. Uh, Kevin can go mining one and construction two, or hauling one, construction two, animal husbandry two. Probably use the add a five function for precise control. I'm going to switch over to that in the next day, but we'll see how things go right now. Okay, perfect. We're actually, we're doing, we're doing really good, except for the food situation, the food being about to decay because it's outdoors unroofed. Um, and we're not making any progress toward food storage because nobody's researching. But I think starting off, this is going to be a little bit bumpier maybe than, uh, than in my normal run. Like, yeah, my barley and seeds are still sitting inside too. Maybe a little bit bumpy, but I think it'll pay off in the long run. We'll see. I really won't have anything to worry about once I built this. It's like, isn't this is this is the castle right here? This this uh, gate, this access gate. I'm not gonna be its permanent site, by the way. I just uh, I need to control. I need to control access onto the uh, the the rise here. I guess is what I'm gonna call this the the rise. The promontory. Okay, she's farming away. These are uh, ripe in three days. I'm gonna run out of wood. I'm gonna have to cut more trees, but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I'll probably get the gatehouse and roof done anyway. Andrew and Kevin are now friends. This is good too. Oh, see, look, I just found a... Uh, <laughs> it would have been terrible if we were to, be, were to get attacked and there isn't easy access like that. Like, yes, it's giving her... Um, access to the fields, but unfortunately, uh, Lady Catherine got to take the long way around because um, the enemies always follow the path, the most direct path. And with this configuration, you can actually just block up your your back door, and the enemy can never get in. Like unless it's archers shooting you, you don't really ever have a problem. Like there's there's definitely ways to cheese the uh, hard mode uh, raids, but I'm not gonna cheese the first one or two anyway. Um, I may definitely cheese the later raids because they, you know, like when you're attacked by 30 master archers, what do I do? Like you, you can't even. You get six archers, they poke their heads up, and so like 30 arrows come flying at the one person who pokes his head up, and he dies. Like that's it, instant, instant death. So you really. Um, but then at that point, like uh, terrain barriers, things like uh, quasi dragons teeth type uh, type um, uh, constructions and traps can't leave due to being walled in. What? Where's the merchant? That's just not true. The merchant can leave. That's silly. That's silly. Anyway, whatever. I lost one rep with the faction because... Okay, Catherine, you really shouldn't be researching, lady. I don't know what... Uh, I have you doing, but it shouldn't be that. You should be cooking. Way more important. No, no, lady, no. Now, where would she be going? Where would she be going? What would she be doing? Getting resource. No, I want you cooking. Catherine and Kevin are now friends. I should I should hope so. They are they are after all man and wife. Um, and uh, I don't think in uh, the social interactions 
uh, between characters. Uh, there are marriages yet. I think that is something that's been left out, um, at least thus far. I really do hope we get marriages, celebrations, festivals, um, things we can uh, get our community together for. Um, is it gives it gives the community a little bit of a purpose um, and sort of uh, breaks up the calendar in a, a nice way. Okay, so it's day five, seven o'clock, day five. I think I think we're on track for the first raid, except for that roof. It's raining again. Oh, looks like he's actually going to work on the roof right now. That's a little bit late, guys. It should have been done in day one. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Another set of hands to haul stuff right now would be good. All right, entertainment time. What are these seeds laying out here? Flax and beets. I should probably plant those too. There's no reason not to. Flax is especially important. Okay, we'll plant the flax over around the corner here. So nobody cares about it. And the beets I'll plant um, here in my little garden area. I think that's all. Okay. Bless me. Mm. Wait for me to get up. There we go. They're praying. Communities that pray together are, are gay together? I don't know. Out the door he goes. What's he going to get? Wood. He's getting the last, and that's the like the last piece of wood is here. Thirty wood there, so gonna have to cut more. Unfortunately, there's not really a way around that. Oh, there's all this food over here too. Boy, she could be cooking. But she's not. She's she's carving. Extra one there, and that's a that's a weird placement. That's just a very weird placement. Okay, you see how this is going to work now, I think. But and it really does. It really does work. This is kind of okay. So the forest bandits, uh, I'll definitely fight them. Are chasing Osgar. Um, I'm not going to leave him out in the cold unless he sucks. Osgar is a tireless field doctor. So, ah, uh, that's really funny. Um, early on, I was like, I hope the RNG gives me uh, someone good at medicine. And lo and behold, give me some, someone good at medicine. He also has a passion for botany, carpentry, intellectual work, melee, smithing, and um, uh, tailoring. But he has a marksman level of four. Which kind of sucks. I don't like I don't like having to train people. But um, yes, we will help Osgar hide me. I will die if I am caught. Okay, there he is. There's the man himself. Um, I'm just gonna make sure he's he's wearing winter clothes. He's not wearing shackles. Um, I think that's an old thing. I don't think that's um, in the game any anymore. Um, Osgar's practical skills. Let's let's make sure he doesn't. Okay, 
do a couple things. Let's copy and paste the daily schedule for him. Let's assign him to eat only meals. And then uh, I'm going to assess his actual... Oh my god, he's good at mailing. Wow. Zero culinary, one animal. So this guy himself is min-maxed. It's very interesting how the RNG has precisely reflected the needs of my community um, in a very interesting way. So Osgar Joplin, um, Janice's, uh, or Scott, Scott or Janice, doesn't matter. Um, great, 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 great. Grandfather. Uh, okay, so... Let's let's have him grow, or let's have him cut. So let's have him cut and haul. Yeah, it makes sense. What's his actual research skill? His intellectual is nine. So he's this guy rocks. This is a very good, very good. He's he's like a he's kind of like a monk. Kind of reminds me of a monk, like a friar tuck kind of. Got a got a big old big old beard. All right. I've got some food. That's good. Okay. No, everything's fine. Everything is as it exactly as it should be. The only thing who's doing construction. Yeah, that's fine. The animals have been fed. So this is perfect. Okay. I'm going to need to build a, a silo, I think, for the hay or create some kind of hay storage area. Okay, and have her stop cooking. And switch over to just research, which I'm actually going to send her to do right now. Even though it's past her, the end of her shifts, I really want to get uh, to preserving food, which is going to be 20. I need to get 20 uh, books. And the enemy arrives in one day. So it's not my biggest priority. My biggest priority is actually probably just construction. Um... I'm going to have everybody focus on building the secondary cut plants. One cut plants. Oh, what is Oscar's religion? I didn't check that. He is... Oh, he's bleeding. He has a... Oh, that's not good. Uh, settlers wounds need tending. Yeah, they damn do. And he doesn't even have a bed because I'm I'm just a dick like that. I didn't I didn't think about his needs. I, so he's also a restitutionist. This is great. We've got a, we've got a very Christian community going on here. Um... I didn't also check his stats. He's wise. That's good. He's a hedonist. Causes drama. He's robust. He's an early bird. That's fantastic. Um, what does that actually mean? It means he goes to bed early and gets up early. Okay, so let's change his schedule uh, slightly. Let's send him to bed at 9 o'clock. And we'll have him get up at 3 o'clock. And he can work. Uh, no, we'll have him actually, actually work, uh, early and give him some extra evening leisure there, afternoon evening leisure. That, that's good. Now, I do need to give him a bed, uh, before he does bleed to death on me. Um, I'll have him build his own beds. I really need to get this stuff done here. It is of the utmost importance. I guess they'll, they'll all work on it first thing in the morning. And I need to get their weapons in their hands. Okay, and she can get up and tend his wounds. Okay, he's good. She's good. Everybody's good. Osgar, what do you have to do? Okay, 
super big priority. I think I think I think this is this is shaking up okay. I'm gonna have to add a second restitutionist um shrine. I guess I'm probably gonna put a cathedral here and a keep here. I was gonna make a concentric castle, but this this terrain doesn't really lend itself to that. Like it could, it could. I could like I can definitely see a concentric castle between like a tower, a tower here, a tower here, and a tower here, and a tower here, and then a keep in the middle, uh, and a chapel there. Um, that that should be good. Um, I'm just gonna silence uh, the old uh, book base here so that it doesn't do that again. Um, we are we are drawing close to the end of the stream. Um, this one's a little bit longer than I would normally go, but uh, I am gonna get through the next one day and five hours, um, fight the enemies, um, triumph, and then uh, and then we'll call it. It was kind of a happy homecoming for me, you know. Not only is there this uh, this nostalgia of playing with my my old friends, uh, Kevin Lestrange, Catherine Catherine Lestrange, but um, also uh, it's been like I said, months and months since I played Going Medieval. Um, I've looked at the updates. I've just I've just been too busy um, to. Uh, get into it and do a regular thing, but I'm I'm back and I've got the the, the time, the inclination uh, to do a regular thing, and I'm definitely going to do some um, more political uh, videos and content on this side. Um, some interesting stuff. I want to do a video about uh, oil pipelines. I want to do a video about leakers. I'm not going to talk about that on the gaming stream, um, but definitely going to talk about leakers probably today because it's super timely. Uh, I'm probably going to go from this, from editing this and posting this to. Um, doing that, and we'll see how far I get. I've got a few hours this uh, this this afternoon. Good. Okay. So he's uh, he's working on the um, the gantry here. So what this actually does? So the enemies. Uh, there's only only like four, I think, in the search party. A one archer, two marauders, three. There's actually gonna be three in the first search party. That's good. Um, might be one added by the difficulty level every time, we'll see. But what this allows me to do is when the Marauders are beaten on my gate here, um, these are very weak gates, but there's a lot of them, so it'll take them a long time to tunnel through. Um, as they're tunneling through, uh, archers up here get flanking fire on them and can shoot them in the back and kill them very easily. Um, so my only real concern is killing a, uh, one enemy archer um, and then flanking fire on the guys who are breaking the gates before they bust through. Honestly, I could probably stop six um, or even eight enemies um, even on the hard difficulty with uh, two archers, um, especially like proficient level 10 archer. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to do. I'll let him return to the stockpile area, but he is going to need to get his equipment here. Uh, no, let's have you equip your short swords, equip your gambus on. And there is a buckler somewhere. There it is. Equip you your fine buckler. And Osgar's off chopping a tree down. He's got a bunch of trees to chop down. This is absolutely, absolutely perfect. Okay, good. Um, now, I could get the furniture perk, which would allow me to save my books, but the, the food is the priority. You really need your food storage. You need uh, underground, subterranean shelves um, within the first seven days or eight days, um, or you're going to have a really hard time after that first attack when you're, all of your food rots um, and your crops haven't come in yet. Like It's just a, it's like a day or two of starvation there, and that can, that can go really bad for a hard mode community. Especially with respect to the morale, right? Like, I'm, I'm managing to keep them all happy here. Uh, someone passed out. Osgar passed out. I'm not sure why he passed out. I think my scheduling for him is incorrect. I think he still needs morning sleep. Like everybody else, but he just has to have an earlier bedtime, which means that I'm going to need to take an hour out of his leisure and his anything. I just had that anything in case there's something that the the AI itself thinks it needs to do as a priority. Um, so we're set up now. This this uh, gate access is good enough. Um, we have 15 hours. 
Um, so they're going to sleep for eight. We'll get up, but uh, you know there is a position for an archer at least to do the flanking fire thing. Um, I'd I'd prefer to complete the entire setup, but we'll see how far they get in the morning. Boy, it's uh, late at night, and she's still. Uh, yeah, here we go. Basically, had to peel her away from that research table. And we're out of food. Food reserves in the stockpile are low. <sighs> Probably gonna have to go do some hunting. And then uh, the the next the next session, I think the priority is gonna be the underground food storage, um, getting indoor sleeping space. Um, and saving my books, like getting shelving and, uh, you know, maybe maybe creating some kind of library annex somewhere on this where there's, I'm like, okay, that's where the books are permanently going to be. But, uh, you know, sight, sighting is hard when you're still in this, uh, like, early early game, um, pre, it's even pre Mott and Bailey phase. Like, we're just, um, we haven't built a farmhouse yet. So, living out of a lean to, basically. Okay. Catherine can do more important things than that. She can cut plants. And she can construct like everybody else. Oscar has a spear I gotta give him before the enemy shows up and... Four hours. Okay, guys, this is really not the biggest goddamn priority right now. No, just stop with the shrubs and go get some goddamn wood. Like, it's not... There we go. Uh, I'm just going to have them get this wood. They really only need it few more logs, but they need they need some damn logs. Also, let's harvest those mushrooms. Next opportunity. Okay. Now is the moment that Double, triple, quadruple check. Enemies can't walk across there, I don't think, so that's okay. But let's double, triple, quadruple check. So he has to pass out that door. Can he go over there? No, he has to go around. It's good. Can he go there? No, he has to go around. Can he go up there? Yes, he can go up there. Yeah, so that's good. His uh, His path is... So one one access point. That's that's what you need. Okay, the forest bandits have shown up. It's uh it's uh Def uh, Griffith. Um no not yet. No, not yet, it's not. Um I don't I don't think there's Welsh in this game, but uh Let's see. Find settlers refuse to battle the assailants' demands. Now it's just three marauders. This is very inconsistent. All right. Fight! Okay, the enemy's pretty far away, and it is just three melee marauders. No archer, um, which is both good and bad. These guys, these guys are... This is... An easy first fight, I'll be honest, um, from what the game normally gives you. So I'm going to have everybody turn out in the courtyard here. Now, uh, Oscar is up there. Good. So he gets a spear. How are my books doing? Are my books going to decay? My books are going to decay soon. They're half health. Okay, so melee guys go stand by the gates. Andrew goes up and stands on the, the catwalk there. 
Catherine goes and stands up on the catwalk. And uh, Kevin is also going to hold the gate. Not that the enemy is actually going to get through, you know, but, but it's a little, little insurance, a, a final gate, if you will. Okay. That's good. There's the enemy. The enemy is arriving. They're schlepping their way up the cliff now, and immediately let's start peppering them. Death. We are death. We are death. A couple of good archers makes a big difference. <laughs> Immediate victory. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can kill that third guy just so I can get his stuff. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Perfect. Okay. So uh, that is wonderful. Um, that worked out way better than I had even thought it would. Um, let's get, I guess we'll get Andrew into, the, no, you don't know. I'm going to get Oscar into the Gambison um, right away. It's a low quality Gambison. It's close here, winter clothes. Uh, and he can equip the light helmets and... You know, I might as well give him the Berdish over the spear. I think it's better. It's the same. Um, the staff has a higher DPS, weirdly. Um, okay, let's give Oscar the staff. And uh, I need to, as a final matter of uh, propriety, like a community management thing, um, I need to delegate a little body disposal area somewhere to start. So this is just going to be waste and carcasses, uh, human carcasses, and definitely not settler bodies. I don't want to throw those with the enemy bodies, um, but that should be good. And then uh, I need to actually... Oh, some of them are still drafted. That's what's going on there. Okay, I need to actually assign them to uh, haul those uh, filthy, filthy bandit corpses to the stockpile before... Um, I think I talked about this in the last stream, but before they see a dead body, um, and you know, it's, I never got this mechanic, um, until last year I was out, I was out working, um, doing my job as a landscaper and, uh, I saw, I saw, I saw a dead body. I saw a person who had fallen and struck their head. Um, they were in the process of receiving first aid, but it was very clear. It was an elderly person that they were not uh, going to survive. I passed by later, um, saw the coroner there. Um, and you know what? I, 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 had, I had to go home like that for the whole day. I was, um, extremely unhappy. Um, I had seen death and, uh, in this game, <laughs> seeing death makes your settlers un, unhappy. Um, go figure. So, uh, we have, uh, we have everything completed thus far. Um, she's got to go do more planting. That's going to be a big priority. Um, let me actually set this stuff up. So, I'll have her grow. You know what? I'm going to set up my priorities for the next session. So that when I start up, I just, they know what they're doing. Um, and I don't have to, I don't have to remember. Um, it means uh, setting everything to three. Okay. Including animal handling. Okay. Now I'm actually going to set everything. Oops. No, that's the wrong way. Up to five. Okay. And Andrew's going to be hauling as a first priority and constructing as a second priority. Catherine is going to be researching as a second priority and growing as a first priority. Um, cooking as a second priority and researching as a third priority. Kevin is going to be uh, animal husbandry as a first priority. And oh, he can hunt too. That's good, but he doesn't have a bow. So I'm going to have to get him a war bow. Um, that'll be, yeah, getting these guys. We didn't kill an archer, so we didn't add a bow to the community. Um, and hauling as a second priority. Osgar can be cutting plants as a first priority. And interesting, he is a good researcher too. Researching is a second priority if there are no plants to cut. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This looks good. And um, let's have him harvesting as a third priority. Uh, no, research has to be third because research is continuous and harvesting is uh, finite. So theoretically their behavior now should, if I give them all orders. Um, yeah, there we go. So gardening, harvesting animal, uh, cutting, and hauling a stockpile. Harvesting animal, he's he's milking the goats. And that's great. That's That's a steady food source is oh god they put the bodies on the man foxy voxel this this sucks this really sucks i don't want animal or human uh, i want animal i don't want human carcasses on my uh my stockpile we could default stockpile shouldn't have those things enabled but that's just a that's just a gripe see now they see death again this is not what we wanted Okay, Andrew, you uh, you have to you have to do what I tell you. Yeah, there we go. No, I don't want to deconstruct a wood beam. It's the exact opposite. Of what I want to do. Okay. Uh, and we'll get this last body out of the way. Okay, so the community is self-managing. Um, we survived our first attack. Uh, it's spring day eight. Uh, crops are coming in. Barley is in the ground. Herbs are in the ground. Um, it's raining again, but whatever. And on the, at the beginning of the next episode, we're going to get into the underground and uh, start our uh, cold storage uh, process. Um, but yeah, uh, that's all for me for now. This is Postmodern Cowboy playing... Going Medieval, a community management uh, building and survival game from Foxy Voxel. Um, if you like watching me play these games, um, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, if you've got any uh, feedback or input for me, let me know down in the comments. Um, if you don't like watching me play these games or I think I suck at it, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, subscribe. Um, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Keep it peaceful out there.